first of all, understand employers want you. And you have skills. Skills are like the currency of workforce. It's what we trade in. So for many of us, career progression can be pretty scary and intimidating. So what do you feel changes as you begin to climb that ladder? And is it as scary as it seems from the ground below? As you move up, you get more power and you can use that power to help people. So when you remember all the things you were irritated about when you were climbing up, um, I think it's your responsibility to hold that and try to do better than what you might have seen before. But the skills of complex problem solving and critical thinking become more important. I would say day to day, you see more issues you have to make a decision on that aren't necessarily black or white. Okay, it's, so and so like it's like you're weighing the pros and cons and you have to make a complicated decision. Your own personal values come into play more um, because you're really shaping and setting the direction of companies yeah. and dealing with these complicated situations. And so honing in on those skills, I think can be helpful if climbing the ladder is something you're interested in. What are varying steps that you think people can take to best prepare themselves for the next stage of their career as they progress? First of all, understand employers want you. And you have skills. Skills are like the currency of workforce. It's what we trade in. It's like, you know, your skills matter. And so skills are also transferable. And so it's like, how did I run a zoo, run a cancer care, you know, yeah. executive at a hospital? Because it was similar skills regardless of where I was at. Um, and you don't just gain skills from your work experience. You gain skills from volunteering, from what you do in the community. And then like just step back and be like, what do you love? Like what excites you? What are you passionate about? Because you could be in, an, uh, in accounting in Broadway. Yeah. You could be in accounting at a zoo. You could be in accounting in a consulting company. And so a lot of the work is that deep work of like, where, where, do you, where do you light up when you think about where you're gonna spend the majority of your day? If you're looking for a new job and you don't have the Indeed mobile app, you're seriously missing out. Click the link below or search Indeed in the App Store. Do you feel that there are any career development resources, be it courses or books or podcasts that you would recommend for the audience today? The times of my life when I've learned skills that I've enjoyed the most, I haven't done it by myself. I've, I've said, who's a community of people that I can surround myself with, um, whether it's at a library, whether it's online, whether it's at work, that sort of give you that motivation to like keep going and be curious and think about, okay, I'm willing to upskill and reskill, but like when it gets hard, sort of someone that might have your back as, as you're going through that journey. You've worked both in the for and nonprofit sectors. How does career progression look different across these varying industries? For-profit career tracks with large companies have sort of more predictability mm -hmm. of what role you could go into. Like some of them have very fixed uh, roles like associate, manager, VP, senior manager, director, yeah. VP, and so on. Um, I think nonprofits, there's a lot more openness to creativity, maybe creating your own roles. Yeah. You see a lot more uh, smaller organizations, so one person might have to wear a lot of different hats. Mm -hmm. um, but there's sort of pros and cons, I would say, of both, both approaches. What is the most useful advice that you've received about career advancement or progression from a mentor or a colleague? Someone said to me once that my job is to empower trusted organizations. Mm. And I was like, what? <laughs> what does that okay. mean? Why would that be my job? <laughs> Elaborate. And, and when I started learning more about that, it sort of shifts your mindset, first of all, that you don't need to be everything. You don't need to learn everything. But if you look at where people go, what they trust, and why they trust it, and you sort of 
double click on it, why do they trust that? You start to get curious. And when you start to get curious about what works, there's like a real sort of authentic learning. I yeah. think that happens. And it's just a really interesting lens yeah. to, in, in which to view the world.